Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to Bestie. Mornings are incomplete without a good caffeine kick. Whether you crave that bitter coffee punch or a soul-warming cup of tea, over 90% of Americans drink caffeine in some way or the other. But one eternally unanswered question still lingers on and is a hot topic for debate. Which morning beverage is better, tea or coffee? There are benefits and drawbacks for both. Reason being, they both have one thing in common, caffeine. However, rejoice coffee lovers, the health benefits of drinking coffee in the morning outweighs the benefits of drinking tea, and we'll tell you why. Does it help you focus better? Can it be a pre-workout morning drink? Does it really burn fat? In today's video, we'll be talking all about this and more. Stay tuned till the end to learn about some shocking benefits of drinking coffee over tea in the morning. Number one, improve energy levels. Let's start off with one of the most popular reasons why people drink coffee. It gives a boost of energy. This is also the reason why it's a famous mid-morning pick-me-up drink. The reason why you feel super energized is because coffee is packed with caffeine, which gets absorbed into the bloodstream. On reaching the brain, caffeine gives a kick to the production of the feel-good hormone, or dopamine. This dopamine kick improves several aspects of brain activity like memory, mood, vigilance, energy level, and general mental function. Which food or drink gives you a boost of energy? Tell us in the comments. Number two, better focus. Do you have to wake up early and get to it? Having a cup of coffee instead of tea will not just wake you right up, but will also help focus better, all thanks to caffeine. It acts as a mild stimulant, getting the central nervous system active. Having just one cup of coffee before any activity that involves mental stimulation will increase alertness, improve mental performance, attention, and concentration. So if you're looking for ways to improve focus, then a cup of joe will definitely help, especially if your work entails night duty. Number three, can help burn fat. Looking to lose a couple of pounds? Do you rely on fat burners to cut out those extra kilos? No more. You'll be surprised to learn that caffeine is an active ingredient in most fat burning supplements, and all for good reason. Unlike tea, coffee naturally aids the fat burning process. You may not know this, but there have been studies that indicate caffeine raises fat burning in the body by as much as 10% in obese people. However, you have to remember not to overdo it. Otherwise, your body will develop a resistance against the fat burning quality of coffee. Number four, lowers the risk of type two diabetes. Did you know that over 30 million Americans have diabetes? This means one in every 10 people is dealing with this disease. This is a major health concern not only in the US but all over the world. Dealing with high blood sugar is tough and involves lifestyle changes and eating the right foods. Another way is to include drinking coffee rather than tea because tea with milk lowers insulin sensitivity. On the other hand, coffee lowers diabetes risk by over 60%. Although the exact reason for this is still a mystery, you should make coffee a part of your diabetic diet. Number five, perfect pre-workout drink. If you're one of those highly motivated people who wakes up early in the morning to work out, then black coffee will be the perfect pre-workout drink you need. An energy jolt is something that everyone needs to work out at best capacity. But why not black tea? This is because coffee has higher caffeine content than regular tea, which not only helps you get through the workout like a champ, but also reduces fatigue and keeps you energetic post-workout. Number six, packed with essential nutrients. If you thought coffee contains only caffeine, then you're wrong. Coffee is packed with several essential nutrients. Did you know that just a single cup of coffee has a variety of vitamins and minerals, including riboflavin and niacin? These nutrients are also essential for protecting the heart and liver while also improving digestion. Coffee beats tea any day with the amount of polyphenols, macronutrients, with antioxidants. Who knew a humble cup of coffee in the morning could offer such staggering nutritional benefits? Number seven, helps reduce pain. Did you know that coffee is a legit pain reliever? That's right. Do you wake up feeling like some part of your body is hurting? There are studies that prove people who drink coffee regularly over tea have reduced their pain as opposed to people who didn't. Other than that, caffeine blocks pain signals by acting directly on the central nervous system. This increases the body's natural pain-killing mechanism. How amazing is that? This could potentially mean cutting back on chemical painkillers. Number eight, it makes you happier. Anything that makes you happy is a winner in our eyes. If your mood feels a bit under the weather or a little down and out, then coffee can be the perfect pick-me-up. Did you know that drinking coffee in the morning may actually help curb the risk and symptoms related to depression? By this point, you may already know that caffeine is a nutritional rock star in coffee. Other than that, studies show that people who drink at least three cups of coffee every day have around 20% less chance of getting depressed. Number nine, improves physical performance. 
You may feel extremely energetic after a cup of coffee. That's natural. All credit goes to the caffeine. It stimulates the entire nervous system to break down fat cells. Other than that, it also increases the adrenaline levels in the body. This adrenaline is not just responsible for flight or fight response. The breaking down of fat cells makes fatty acids available for the body to use as fuel. This means way better physical performance as compared to not drinking coffee. Choosing coffee as a pre-workout drink would mean that your stamina to carry out more exercise would increase. Number 10. Protects from Alzheimer's If we told you that coffee can potentially protect from Alzheimer's disease, would you believe us? No? We'll give you the proof. Alzheimer's is one of the most common diseases that grows as you get old. Sure, there is no known cure for it, but there's always ways to delay or prevent the disease. Drinking coffee has been linked with protecting the brain from this disease by up to 65%. So you don't just have to eat right, you can also enjoy your cup of coffee. Before moving on, are you wondering which foods can help lower the chances of developing Alzheimer's? Check out these seven foods that help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Now back to the benefits of drinking coffee over tea in the morning. This will have you choosing coffee over tea. Let's check out the side effects of drinking tea on an empty stomach in the morning. Number one, reduces iron absorption. Just like coffee is rich in caffeine, tea is packed with tannins. Tannins can bind to iron in certain foods, rendering it unavailable for absorption in your digestive tract. Iron is one of the most common nutrient deficiencies. Research shows that tea tannin interferes with the absorption of plant-based sources rather than animal foods. This means that if you're following a vegan or vegetarian diet, then you may want to keep a close eye on your tea drinking habit. Number two, increases stress and anxiety. Tea leaves have caffeine, so if you're thinking that tea will make your anxiety better, you're wrong. It may further exacerbate the situation and make it worse. Black tea contains more caffeine than regular white tea, and the longer you allow it to steep, the more caffeine it'll have. Remember to keep your tea drinking habit to under 200 milligrams per day, or better yet, replace it with herbal tea because they come from caffeine-free ingredients. Number three, causes heartburn. If you're already dealing with acidity or gastro problems, then tea is a huge no-no. Caffeine in tea will amplify the acid reflux symptoms and cause horrible heartburn. This happens because caffeine relaxes the muscles that separates your esophagus from your stomach, allowing acid to more easily flow into the esophagus, causing heartburn. So if you have large amounts of tea throughout the day, then you may want to reduce it and see how it affects your symptoms. Number four, may cause headache and dizziness. While drinking caffeine beverages in moderation can get rid of certain pain and inflammation, chronically drinking tea can contribute to recurrent headaches and a feeling of dizziness. Now, everyone is different and has a different reaction to caffeine because in some, drinking just about 100 milligrams of caffeine can contribute to headaches, but it all depends on the individual's tolerance levels. When it comes to drinking caffeine from tea, lightheadedness is another common complaint. You may want to take it easy if these symptoms don't go away. Coffee is love. From cradling a coffee mug on a cold winter day to getting your go-to cup of coffee on your way to work, it's hard to imagine a day without it. Of course, the number of health benefits it has to offer are numerous. From heart to the brain and liver, it can undo a lot of damage. If you're still wondering what other effects coffee drinking will have on your health, then check out what drinking coffee every day does to your body. Also, check out these nine brain-boosting drinks you need to know about. Make sure to watch both these videos to learn all about the reasons to love coffee. So what's your favorite style of coffee? Tell us in the comments.